Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I am your host, your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I am wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So y'all, you know, I, lately I've been doing the premieres and I've really been enjoying the live chats with you guys, but today I felt like I just wanted to share this message. I wanted it to just be uh, very organic. If you happened upon it and you went into it, then I knew that it was for you. You would know it was for you. Um, and this is a bit longer than a short, but it's not as long as one of my normal premiere videos, right? So as you can see by the title, it's saying how you can reset yourself this season. So I know talking about things like that can seem a little weighty and heavy sometimes, and it can often make us feel like, you know, it's almost impossible sometimes to really, really feel like you are able to reset yourself in a way where you do not feel discombobulated or all over the place, but, uh, not, but I meant to say, and it's, it's hard sometimes too to really sit in a place in your life and say, Hey, I know I want things to be different, but I'm not sure how. And the reason why this is usually a bit of an, an, an issue is because we have so many other things going on. Now, I'm not going to say anything new and super deep and wonderful and fantastic that you've never heard before, but perhaps the way I say them and how I tell you to implement them, it perhaps may inspire a different result moving forward, right? So, you know, first of all, we already know this is a bonus. This is not even the three, but I'm going to just give this as a disclaimer. First of all, if you don't like something, you just have to change it or fix it. I know that's easy. That's common sense. But you need to hear it within the framework of this message because you are trying to do a reset. And if you're lucky, you're going to do a divine reset. If you are listening to this and you are feeling led by the Holy Spirit to reset some things in your life, then you are happening, happening upon a divine reset. Because sometimes people just want to make some changes, reset what they're doing. is nothing heavy or super deep. They just want to change the pace up, right? Or even uh, an, in, an intervention or, uh, no, I'm sorry. Not an intervention. I meant to say a reinvention. Excuse me. So you could just be somebody who just wants to reinvent themselves. You want to possibly just reset some things because maybe you started off a couple of weeks ago in a new year one way. And now you're kind of feeling like, you know what? Maybe I was a bit overzealous. Let me reset and try this another another way. All of those things could potentially be what's going on. But what I really want you to grasp is this. It is the truth. If you don't like something going on in your life right now, you have to change it. Now, what if you say, well, Robin, I don't know how to change it. Educate yourself on how to change it. Educate yourself on how to change it. So that, again, that's a bonus. That's just a basic thing. Now, that leads me into number one. You have to conquer ignorance. A lot of people see ignorance as a curse word, but ignorance is simply lack of information. In order for you to reset yourself, you have to gain knowledge. What a lot of people don't understand is a lot of times you can be in a situation where a person with more confidence and a person that is more pre prepared can outshine you in a situation, namely because you have not educated yourself and gotten the information that will give you more of the confidence that you need. Let me tell y'all something. Ignorance. When you when you start to get knowledge on something you're ignorant about, it will build your confidence because y'all know what it's like if you go somewhere and you're kind of like completely out of the loop and people are kind of talking about things. and You feel like it's above your head that can cause multiple things. It can cause you to feel inadequate, sometimes embarrassed. And sometimes you just don't even want to be around there because you might be in such a high functioning environment with people who are really uh, delving in and really kind of uh, sitting in the information that they know, they may not even have the time to explain it to you. You know what I'm saying? It might just be going over your head. In fact, I just was talking to my friend yesterday about NFTs and it was just like, yeah, it was literally midway through the conversation. It was like, yo, listen, it's too much. Like, I don't know what a blockchain is. I don't know. So I just kind of stopped, but I get it because what happens is, if you do not give yourself that space 
to truly get into educating yourself and, and combating ignorance with knowledge, then that will keep you in a place where you will feel like you need to reset, but you won't because you're not even trying to educate yourself on how to do it, right? So the second thing, once you have conquered that space of lacking information, again, once you gain that information, once you get that part done, number two is another interesting one that's kind of hiding in plain sight, right? Now you have to think. You have to think, right? And I know you're like, okay, Robin, think, duh. No, hear me out. Now that you have the information, you're no longer ignorant to whatever it is that you're trying to uh, get to. And again, this is all connected to resetting, okay? I'm going to make all of this come together. Again, this won't be very long, but the Lord just had me put this together for somebody. I don't know who you are, but I pray that it blesses you because I know it's needed, right? I needed it too. I'm still walking out and working out these things as well. Combating ignorance and lack of information every day. And I wear it as a badge of honor because I am a student of life. And I pray as long as I'm on this earth, I'm always learning. I'm always educating myself. And I pray I never get to a place where I think I know too much and know it all. I want to always be able to be a student of life. And those times when I, I kind of don't show that, God always corrects me because that's my heart. My flesh and my heart sometimes compete. And I know for you, for some of you, you have the same issue. So I just like to be transparent and put that out there and talk about that kind of thing. But number two is think. Why think? So here's the thing. Now that you have the information, right? The next thing you want to do is think about the information that you received that has to do with your reset. Okay. Why don't you just sit and think? See, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this before, but sometimes people will say, I'm going to have a think, right? And that's not, in, in some circles, you know, that's a common phrase, but a lot of people don't know what it is. They never heard it before, right? So it's, there's another thing y'all heard before they say, uh, you've, you got another thing coming. It's not T-H-I-N-G, it's T-H-I-N-K. You have another think coming. That's a little fun fact. You can look it up, right? So when people say they're going to have a think, right? It's basically them saying, you know what? I am going to take some time and I am going to really get into this problem that I'm having. I have this information, but I want to sit and think. I want to question some things. I want to see how I can come up with some solutions. And I want to see what I can do as a result of taking the information that I have, thinking about it, and then going into number three, executing a plan, executing a plan of action. So first thing you want to combat ignorance. The second thing is you want to have a think. And number three, you want to pull out a plan of action. Okay. So here's what happens. I'll give you an example. So you're like, okay, Robin, connect the dots of resetting. So this is how you reset. So let's say you have a, a hobby that you've been doing, right? The hobby is cool. And this is, this is very, very relevant for many because a lot of people developed hobbies during COVID, during COVID, excuse me. And now they're kind of burnt out and they don't really want to do it anymore. They kind of just picked it up because they were home. They learned how to do it. I know many of us got into all types of stuff. I know I got into, I've always been into fashion. I've had a, a clothing line over 13 years, but I actually started making some of my stuff and, you know, like doing all of this stuff that I never thought I'd do before. And then as COVID transitioned again, I kind of had to get into a different space. So there are a lot of you right now, and I'll just use that example, but there are a lot of you right now who feel like there's something in your life that you want to reset. So let's just take, for instance, when you were in COVID, you were making things, right? Let's just say you were making shirts, right? You were making shirts, but now you're kind of at a place where you're like, okay, wait a minute, like... I uh, making shirts is cool, but I'm going to have to reset this because I don't really want to make shirts anymore, but I do want to continue to make things. Maybe I could learn to make other things. So right then that's where you're like, okay, well, I know I can make shirts, but I don't know how to make the, the other things. So that's the, that's where we go ahead and we tap into the lack of information. 
that's when you begin the first part of the reset for that particular thing because you go in and you say, okay, let me educate myself. Let me go see what it is that I need. Okay, maybe I'll make cups now. Let's see how I can make cups, right? So then the second part is, it's like, okay, now that you're like, okay, bam, I, I, I got the information I needed. I've done some studying. I might have taken some classes. I took some YouTube videos. I hired a coach, whatever it is you did. And you're like, boom, I know how to make these cups now. Now you have to sit and think about, do you want to do, do you want to do big cups, small cups? Do you want to do engraved cups? Do you want to do monogram? You want to do plastic? You want to do glass? You're thinking about all of these different things. So that's why you have to have a think because now that you have the information, you don't want to play yourself by just taking the information and you all wild magnolia with it. And you don't even know what you're going to do with it. It's like you got the information for nothing. Because that's what happens a lot too. A lot of people just store a bunch of information and then there's no execution. A lot of times they'll get a whole bunch of information, watch a whole bunch of videos, talk to a bunch of people, but they don't think about the information that they've gathered. And what ends up happening is they end up in a place where they're like, well, dang, like, okay, um, I learned all that stuff and now I don't want to do it. It's happened to me before, right? Again, I don't... 99.9% .9 unless I'm giving y'all an anecdote or an example I have experienced these things in some form or fashion right so now let's wrap it up so now when you get to the third part if you are applying this to something that you're doing as a reset the third part is you have to take action so now that you've gotten your information you know that you want to make cups you're going to transition and reset again a reset y'all it's a reset you already know how to make something, but now you're learning how to make something else. You're resetting, you're resetting yourself in the space of making things, okay? So now that you've gotten information, you want to do cups. Now you sat down and you say, okay, you know what? I want to do 16 ounce cups. That's what I'm going to do. And now you have to do a plan of action. You're like, you know what? I notice every time I go to the ball games with my, my kid at the Pop Warner games, they only sell their stuff in the 16 ounce cups. Let me go see if I can make them some custom cups. And boom, you've officially reset yourself. I know the things that I'm saying may not be rocket science, but I want y'all to understand perfection is in simplicity sometimes, most times, 99, 100% of the time, okay? There's a space for things to be complicated, but y'all, in this season, you will find a lot of my messages are very simplistic because a lot of us have been, have been going through depression, sadness, high functioning, anxiety, and a plethora of other things that's causing us to overthink and be overactive. And we're not sitting down, just taking our time to think and just think about the pleasantries of life and just uncomplicating things. Just simply saying, you know what, quote unquote, what might be common sense sometimes is not so common even for the smartest person because other things in life could make us miss things. It's just like when you write something. And again, I get how everything is with people with grammatical errors, but sometimes people will invest money in things and not even pay attention to the small details because they're so busy doing so much. These are brilliant, bright people, but they're still just doing too much. So that's why I just wanted to gently share this with you guys today. And I wanted to tell you how to reset your reset yourself. Now, if this has benefited you at all, Please like, subscribe, and share. Please get in the comments and tell me what you liked about it or didn't like about it. It's fine. I just genuinely want you to put yourself in a position of power. 2022 is going to be exactly what you make it. And if you make a decision today to say, hey, I'll start from here. I've been feeling the reset. I will try this out. Then you will see some type of result. And even if it's not the result you want, guess what? It's a result you didn't have. And I can guarantee you this. If you keep going as a result of the first action steps you took, you will land where you're supposed to be. You will feel like you've reset and you're, re you're ready to charge up and go again. I can promise you that because that's just cause and effect. That's not even spiritual. That's just you keeping, keeping at it, going at it, and then boom, you're coming up with the result. So guys, thank you again. I appreciate you listening. Today wasn't a premiere. I just want to drop something in on you guys. And I really, really hope that it encouraged you, even in a small way, even in a simplistic format. 
I pray to the dead. And also go to my website, I'm wired to inspire.com and you can get my offerings. I have a free consultation on there. I have classes, courses that are going to be uploaded soon. But in the meantime, I have some free material coming up too. And y'all, let me tell you this. I might, well, I won't be able to link it. I know I mentioned last week that I was going to be dropping some free uh, ebooks for y'all. They're very short ebooks. They're like 10 page ebooks. But guys, there's one that I just completed for y'all and I can't wait to drop it. Okay. And it is called, So God Told Me to Move. Now what? There are so many people right now where God is calling you to either move to a physical location, move jobs, move out of relationships, but God is telling you to move and now you are feeling some type of way. I even have a checklist in there for those who have to physically move. I have some um, some some specific scriptures. I have some questions and some action steps that are just, you know, put together in a nice ebook just to give you some inspiration and some encouragement about the move of God that God is leading you to. And the next one that I completed is called, How Do I Forgive? even though I feel like I hate them. I know I'm y'all this year. I'm coming with it. I'm coming different because I genuinely want to serve you guys as much as God is leading me to do that. And I will do that as best I can with as many tools as I can. If y'all go back a few videos, I promised y'all I'm dropping tools in 2022. Okay. I'm dropping tools. This is not about your bank account. This is about nothing else other than your spiritual bank account. And you don't want to be spiritually bankrupt. You want to be well balanced and practicality and spirituality. And that is what my goal is for you guys in 2022. And if you want more offerings, one-on-ones and other opportunities, I have intensives coming up, full day intensives. I have retreats coming up. So it's going to be awesome. So yes. Yeah, so again, don't forget your top three things for the reset. Get some information, learn the information. Number two, think about the information so that you can know what to do next. And thirdly, execute a plan. That is how you reset in this season. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.